Hello everyone and welcome to the May Angel Forecast. So this message is channeled through the angels for all star seeds, all light workers and all wanderers with the specific intention of assisting you to come into a deeper understanding and clarity of your mission, to assist you through your personal ascension process and to assist you with helping humanity through the great awakening and this incredible shift very incredible indeed evolutionary shift that we are experiencing right now okay some of the messages that i want to share in may's forecast with you all today now the first one is really specifically around a uh, ongoing theme that we've been working with uh, which is trying to navigate this these two worlds split these two realities the two different frequencies so uh, the messages from the angels that have been coming through have been around supporting us to understand that for now we are still going to be oscillating and shifting frequencies so for you what that's going to feel like at times is that some days you'll be really able to experience your life your consciousness uh, your awareness from a, a higher timeline from a higher frequency which has a, a higher percentage frequency of the fifth density or 5D frequency. And it's going to feel more hopeful when you're in that energy. You're going to be able to uh, feel more detachment. You're going to be able to see things from the big picture. You're going to be able to feel closer to your angelic support team, receive guidance from them, uh, find uh, compassion, forgiveness, unity consciousness. You're going to be able to uh, trust in divine timing more and this this energy is going to obviously it's, it's a high frequency so it's going to feel quite positive when you're looking at the the events that are playing out from this vantage point you're going to be able to have more access to future timelines to hope to uh, being able to really open into your own ability to manifest and create not just the future you want to be able to really start to anchor into your role to bring through the 5d frequencies and to be a vehicle for the conscious co-creation of this brand new earth that you and i and we are all every human birthing right now this is a very very potent time to be incarnate in physicality on earth and and 5d is uh, is not fully here 5d is a frequency that is is increasing however our predominant consciousness the predominant experience is still from a third density or 3d vantage point and so what that means is that for all of us there are going to be days and times as there already are and this is going to continue where you and I are experiencing our reality from that 3D frequency. And when we when we drop into those days, it's going to feel it's going to feel like a trigger. We're going to feel activated. That's when our our wounds and our shadows and our healing is going to be really present. It's going to be much harder or feel much harder to access the higher frequencies. In that 3D energy, we are more likely to find ourselves susceptible to energetic enmeshment, to hypnosis, to spells, to projections, to broadcasts, to fear, and especially external authority or external projections, which as we know, there is a very significant orchestrated projection of a spell in our experience right now and that's being uh, broadcast via many vehicles um, specifically mainstream news media uh, the internet uh, and particular vehicles that are actually choreographing the agenda and the story okay so when when you or i have uh, a day where we are really much more experiencing our, experiencing our consciousness from that 3d reality it's going to be much harder or feel much harder to uh, be able to draw up to that higher perspective and access all of those positive uh, viewpoints and experiences that I mentioned first. So we're more likely to drop into our shame, our trauma, 
um, our wounds, our grief. Uh, we're more likely to find energetic boundaries more challenging to maintain and hold. We may be more likely to experience psychic attack or enmeshment. Uh, we may be more likely to react from a place of um, victim or blame in our personal relationships. We may find it really more, a lot more challenging to be able to remain hopeful. We may find that our um, shadow side of our empathic nature, because we have a shadow side and a higher timeline side of our empathic nature, that we are more activated in the grief of witnessing the current collective experience. Now, what the angels want to want me to explain in this May forecast is that this is a period of uh, acclimatizing and adjusting to the new 5D frequencies. And as we go through that, we are all going to be dropping in between the two different frequencies. And at times that's going to be a real mind twist because it's almost going to feel like you're like changing dimensions. It's, it really is like oil and water. It really is very different. When you're in that 3D frequency, it's going to be really hard to communicate with people because you'll be much more aware of the, the separation. And then when you are able to access that higher frequency, you'll be able to see with much broader vision and you quite literally will be able to see through the veil, through the hypnosis, through the matrix much more easily. But we are adjusting and it's going to be coming in waves. This whole ascension process has been accelerating, but it's always in a, um, a wave motion. So. The reason the angels want me to explain this, and this actually came through in the angel transmission in my angel or a community in really some detail. So if you do want more information in this, please feel free to come into my angel or a community where you can read the full four page transmission, which really goes into this in a lot of detail. But the angels do want to assure you that you're not doing anything wrong if you're finding it harder to access that five day frequency. One of the benefits of being able to um, explore the 3D frequency is that we still all have individual soul contracts and life experiences that we need to work through. And so when you're in that 3D frequency, there's a, there's a layer to your own personal experience that is expressed and explored when you're in those shadow aspects that I mentioned. Okay. The next thing that the angels want me to mention is, and I've, I've mentioned this several times before, there is, there is a, a tipping point coming with the Great Awakening. Uh, the words that the angels have used with me over and over again have been prepare for the collective roar as humanity awakens to the full depth of the deception. Now, one of the new pieces of information that the angels gave me just this morning is that this um, collective roar, this tidal wave of awakening, um, I feel this coming soon. They haven't given me an exact time point, but it feels the highest probable timeline for this to occur is in the latter quarter of 2021. So it is getting a lot closer. One of the other metaphors that the angels want me to explain in this forecast today is that this is a um, very similar process to the individual awakening that many of you who are watching this video have already experienced. And if you can think back to your own um, point where you experienced your own internal roar of horror, rage, grief, as you became aware of the full extent of the deception and darkness that has been hidden from humanity for actually many, many tens, if not hundreds of thousands of years. And so <clears throat> uh, the individual awakening and that roar is going to start to accelerate. So the, the rate of individual humans starting to have that awakening point is at the moment a trickle and is going to very soon become a flood and then become a tidal wave. And there is um, two very different ways that we can look at that. One is with um, a sense of trepidation, um, even a little bit of positive excitement about knowing that so many people will actually awaken because we need the awakening of the many in order to survive the experience that we are moving through right now. This is really important. But the other is um, certainly some um, compassion for the other side of this awakening experience for the many individuals, which is that it's a, it's a very painful 
it's very painful. It's very painful, which you will know watching this. Now, uh, when I say that we need this to survive, we are absolutely at an urgent tipping point between the potential shift to an AI takeover and embracing an organic timeline of radiant, mag magnificent experience and expression of consciousness that allows us to start to really birth a quantum and um, really limitless experience of being a human being. But we we very much are at a tipping point. So we need this awakening to happen in order to avoid the intentional Great Reset agenda, um, slave race control with the agenda of merging with artificial intelligence. I've never said all of that in one of these before. That was a challenge for me. Okay. So, um, star seeds, what's your highest priority and task right now? Continue to prepare, continue to raise your frequency, to continue to work with your higher guidance and always be seeking the higher timeline for yourself. The most important thing that you can continue and must continue to do now is that this is about your own awakening. This is about your own inversion of consciousness. We do not accelerate the awakening of the many by waiting for an external authority or savior to bring disclosure or change things on our behalf. Your power now is in your own sovereign free will, your internal healing process, your internal removal of your own veils. As you remove your own veils, you assist the collective removal of the veil faster and more than any other possible feat or action that you can take. So please continue to work on raising your frequency, raising your vibration, doing your inner work, opening your heart chakra, allowing yourself to really step into all of your own shadows, wounds and darkness that are being presented to you now absolutely at an accelerated rate. Um, I do want to remind you that we, we do have a potential very difficult period ahead of us collectively coming up later this year should that timeline anchor with the tidal wave and mass awakening which at the moment is the highest timeline that I'm being presented with. I also want to remind you that every individual has this, this process and the speed of this awakening process is always in alignment with the highest good of every single human being. So if at times you find yourself in that 3D perspective and anchoring into the frustration at this not happening fast enough, ask to be shown the highest pathway, ask to be shown the highest timeline and to be reminded that your power in the situation is within and it's through accessing the love and compassion for everyone and to doing your own inner work as your highest priority. If you are feeling called to, ser to service now in preparation for assisting this mass awakening, which is feeling very imminent, then please reach out for assistance with mentoring or stepping into your mission. Please feel free to join my Angel Aura community. You'll find the link below this video. I have hundreds of incredible star seeds just like you in that community and there are some very potent and powerful messages that come through every week from the angels to assist you through this process. Thank you. Uh, I hope you have a, a positive and heartfelt experience in May and as always, I love you.